You come back to Hyped Alliance after a really crummy day. Literally anything that could have gone bad went bad. To top it off, your support gear broke in the last few minutes of your training and it won't be fixed for another week. Your head is completely gone. All you want to do is sit in your room vegetating and eating junk food. Luckily, there aren't many people around when you enter the dorm. Shoji is on one of the couches, quietly building a house of cards, and Bakugo is in the kitchen area, but the rest of the common room is deserted. Hoping not to have to come down again tonight, you make a beeline to the kitchen to grab as many snacks as you can carry up to your room. Oh, but of course. Because nothing is going your way today, there are no snacks in your drawer. There definitely were snacks 24 hours ago. With a frustrated groan, you beat your palm against one of the kitchen counters. You're ready to bet Kaminari is to blame. You know there's a food thief, and he keeps complaining that he has no money. As you turn with a frown to head towards the elevator upstairs, you suddenly spot Bakugo looking at you with an unimpressed glare. What? You snap. He says nothing, but flips you off, then returns to cooking, unfazed by your sour mood. You roll your eyes, then head upstairs, deciding you're not hungry anyway. You grumble, huffing and puffing all the way to your room, then curl up on your bed once you're inside. What an absolutely rotten day. You hope tomorrow will be better. Twenty minutes pass before you suddenly hear a knock at the door. You're slow to answer it, wondering if after all the bad luck you've had today, that it might be the Grim Reaper himself. But then there's a second knock as you're halfway to the door. It's louder, more forceful, and followed by the angry bark of Open the damn fucking door for God's sake! You know of only one person who's that eloquent with words. You open the door with a frown, ready to snap back at Bakugo if he tries to bite your head off. But to your surprise, you find him standing in the hallway with a neutral expression and two plates of food in his hands. You're absolutely at a loss for words. Are you going to keep standing there till it goes cold or what? Bakugo says, starting to frown. You think on your feet letting him in, then quickly shove your workbooks and notes off your desk so he can put the plates down. What are you doing here? you ask, eyeing the food with a hungry gaze. Turns out you were lying to yourself when you said you weren't hungry. Bakugo puts the food down, then sits in your desk chair before holding out a set of cutlery for you. Do you want something to eat or not? Since he's gone to all this trouble, and the food smells unbelievably good. You take the cutlery, then pull up an extra seat. Your desk is only small, so the elbow room is pretty cramped, but Bakugo doesn't seem to mind. It's very strange sharing a meal with Bakugo, but not unpleasant. He hardly pays you any mind at all, preferring to focus on eating, but as you tuck into your meal, you catch him watching you from time to time. This is delicious, you say, and very much mean it. Bakugo is a notoriously good cook, and you feel lucky for getting to enjoy something so tasty and comforting. He grunts in response, but you catch the small, pleased smirk as he takes his next bite. Strangely, you find yourself feeling much better. Perhaps it's the food, or perhaps it's the company, but the weight of the day's troubles slip off of you. Sure, you've still got problems, but they seem much smaller when you're eating a meal that someone put in the effort to cook for you. You smile as you near the end of your food, and Bakugo catches it. What? he asks, scraping the last of the meal from his plate into his mouth. You shake your head, but your smile grows bigger. Thank you, I think I needed this. No shit, you looked ready to punch someone. Bakugo isn't joking, but you laugh it off anyway. When you're done, he collects up the plates, then heads for the door, but you stop him before he gets too far. I'm sorry I put you through the trouble of making this. I won't let it happen again, I promise. You know it's one thing to have a bad day, 
It's another thing entirely to make those issues someone else's problem. You bow to apologise. Bakugo clicks his tongue. Shut up, you idiot. You didn't make me do shit. There's hardly any bite to his words. It's like, in his own way, he's trying to be reassuring. He looks over his shoulder, hitting you with an expression that at first glance seems agitated, but when you look closer, you see a warmer glint in his eye. My old hag says things always look worse when you're hungry. He opens the door and adds, without looking back at you, The next time you're feeling like shit, I dare you not to feel better after you've had my homemade lasagna. With that, he leaves. And you can only smile, feeling a swell of warmth in your chest from catching the invitation to eat with Bakugo again. <laughs>